I mark the bonds. And I'm the Glory World Welterweight Champion. Feels good. It was a hard fight, very technical, tactical, because we know each other. So uh, I wanted to do something different, because normally I box a lot. And I thought he was expecting that, but I saw the Kishenko fight. And uh, he beat Kishenko up. And Kishenko was only boxing, so I went for my kicking. Till the fifth round, everything was going actually very smoothly. Carpet wasn't doing very much, and I was scoring points. But in the fifth round, I, uh, I fell on my back when I gave a knee. Uh, he, he hit my shoulder and I slipped, fell flat on my back. And that knocked the wind out, I couldn't do anything anymore. So uh, after that, it was a uh, pure survival mode. Carpet finished strong, he won the fifth round very convincingly. But I felt that the first four rounds were, were mine. I was expecting a unanimous decision. So I thought, no, this can't be happening. I was waiting, waiting, and it took so long. One for me, one for Carpet. And then uh, at the end, they said, Mark Dibos! I just screamed out of it. For me, it was a, a really happy moment, one of the best in my life. So uh, my mother started crying at home. Even my dad, he normally never cries. So uh, it was a, a happy time when I got back home. He worked for this for 18 years, and then it's finally there. So uh, I, uh, a few days later, I still couldn't believe it. Sometimes I have to look at the belt at my home and say, oh yeah, I'm champion. Yeah, a lot of people uh, say that uh, I won't be the real champion unless I beat uh, Joseph Valtini and Nicky Holskin. But I am the champion right now. I feel Carpet is next to Holskin, in my eyes, the toughest fighter in glory, and I beat him twice now. I've been challenging Holskin for years. He's injured all the time, or he fights somebody else. But now that I have the title, when, I'll, when I beat Fatlini, he'll have no choice. Just Fatlini is a very complete fighter. Strong kicks, good hands. He comes to fight, he brings the fight, and I think that uh, works well with my style. I think my boxing is better, and I uh, just have to block the low kicks. <laughs> he really belongs at this level, I feel. I feel he's one of the top competitors, but uh, I think experience can be a, a huge factor in the fight, like in the Holskin fight. I think uh, the knockdown was due to experience. Last 10 seconds, he rushes in with an open attack. And Holskin is known for that one punch knockout power. So I think that's a bit of uh, experience. But the rest of the fight, he fought perfectly. I, fought. I always try to go for the KO in the fight, but I don't rely on it. If the knockout comes, it comes. If you uh, look too much for the knockout, uh, you'll get knocked out. I think this fight will be very explosive, high pace, and uh, it's a championship worthy fight, so uh, I think people in the US would like to see it. I've done a lot of five rounds fights in the past, so it's not something different, but it's a little bit more cardio, so uh, you do a little bit more longer training. I start with, uh, building up a pretty strong base, running, bicycling, uh, triathlons, kayaking. So uh, I start a few first weeks with that and just do technical kickboxing training. And towards the fight, every training gets shorter and more explosive. It's hard work, a lot of sacrifices as well. I don't go out, I don't drink, I almost don't eat bad food, I don't get time off. Don't see my friends as much as I would like to, but uh, for me it's all worth it. I'm just uh, living the life that I wanted, and uh, it's my dream, so that's what I have to do. If I'm happy, it pays off, so, uh, and I couldn't be more happier. Buy the Glory 17 pay-per-view on June 21st, and watch me defend my title against Joseph Altlini.